okay we are going to create the retainer earnings account now just now we saw how to create the account groups to classify our GL accounts the next step is to create the retainer earnings account but before that we need to do something you see this enter global parameters for the company code once we have created the company code just now we have to enter some parameters it's known as global parameters because it's globally available means okay let me go to the sun here you see this is the company code we have created and uh, since we copied this company code from company code 1000 these values have been defaulted from company code 1000 all right so remember we have created the chart of account just now we have to change this value to the chart of account we have created our chart of account is sun yeah, just press enter solar is our group company name which is, it has been already assigned and country chart of accounts is defaulted to GKR because this is copied from the company code 1000 just blank it off it's better to blank it off you can leave it as it is also and you can see a lot of parameters here but I'm not going to explain each and every parameter because it will be very difficult for you to understand at this juncture okay let me explain some of the important parameters here I've already explained about this this credit control area is the um, related to the credit management I'm going to explain this later just don't bother about this fiscal year variant yes this is also important but I'm not going to explain now we will cover this in the additional transactions session not now and uh, so as this field status variant and posting period variant these are the one two three four five six six parameters which is really important you can ignore the arrest okay you can ignore all this I'm going to explain about this 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 and this later on when we come to the additional transactions section okay just we have changed this for now we are going to change only the chart of accounts to sun so that we can proceed to create our return earnings account save it okay before we create the return earnings account let me just open this up and show you how the return earnings account will look like you see this chart of accounts INT the sample chart of account our chart of account is sun it is not the chart of account this is something else you see how they have set up this these are two return earnings account they have set up one is X and then the other one is Y this is how we have to set up one for our chart of account called sun let me go to sun now it's empty because we haven't created a return earnings account yet we are going to create now let me see whether we can have a session here alright you see this before we create a return earnings account I mean before we define a return earnings account we need to create the GL account first for the return earnings account okay we're going to create the GL account first accounting financial accounting general ledger master records GL accounts individual processing centrally this is where we can create the return earnings account the return earnings account GL account that we are going to create is 1000 okay this company code sun all right now I'm going to create just create not defined let me just check what's the error message about I need to choose some other account first to clear this off. Let me just clear this off. All right. Let me clear this. It's 
sun and then 4000 Okay, you know why you're getting this error here? I know why. You see, when you get this error here, it means that you have to set up the PNL account statement type here. See this? You just enter X here and see which you'll get this message as enter account. Just enter. Changes have been made. So this is blank, right? This this is the GL account we're going to create and then assign it here. Before that, you need to create this. That's why you're getting the error message here. See this? Now we have created the error message. We created X. The error message has disappeared. So let us proceed. I choose account group current liability balance sheet account because return earnings account has to be defined as a balance sheet account. Since our we are using the series of four four thousand series, it has to be defined as account group current liability. Okay, let me just show you one thing. You open another session here. Yeah? Okay, let me go to SPRO. Remember the account group. Okay, you come here. Here. Here, 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 and here. Let me go to Sun. You see this? You know why I'm using? Since I'm using the four series, I have to choose this account group, which is current liability. Otherwise, it will throw an error message. Okay, let me go to here. Right, 4000 4, series, current liability, control data, define is account currency. Just field status group, you would enter field status group. In the control data, the important thing you need to enter is account currency. Make sure you enter USD. You can leave the blank as. You come here, create bank interest tab. You have to specify this channel G0001. I will explain what is the field status group later when we go to advanced transactions. For now just bear in mind that you would enter G0001 because if I start explaining about this then it will complicate the whole thing and you will not uh, understand the whole process. What I am going to show you now is a simplified process. Alright, just save it. Oh yeah, we need to enter a description, right? So you're getting a message here. Just enter the description here. Return earnings account. Retained earnings account. Okay, save it. Get this message. Yellow and green message can be ignored. Only the red red colored message has to be fixed. You see this? I position the cursor on a yellow message it says warning warning messages can be ignored ok now the data is saved the GL account has been created I am going to copy this just highlight this copy go to our uh, return earnings account paste it there and save it that's all this is how you are going to create a return earnings account Alright, so I'm going to create one more return earnings account because alright, let's not complicate the whole thing, we just limit it with uh, one uh, what do you call the return earnings account. So, what happens is that all the PL accounts that you're going to create after this will be automatically assigned to this return earnings account will be in other words will be automatically linked to this single return earnings account so that at the year end when you calculate your profit and loss 
and execute a step to carry forward to the next year the net balance of the profit and loss uh, account whether it's a uh, net profit and net loss will be written to this single return earnings account which is here just close it let me just open it yeah it will be posted to this single account let me just explain this using a whiteboard here what will happen here is that year end let me just during year end right here during year end alright what will happen is that all the PNL account balances of the PNL accounts let me just let's see here I have uh, income account oh let me just remove the underline sales account sales account one sales account two sales account three all these are income accounts right and then our cost of sales account is let's see sales accounts are this and our cost of sales accounts is let me just use a abbreviation as COS COS is cost of sales account one COS two COS count three all right let's say we have one thousand here oh, let me just put a dollar sign one thousand two thousand and let's say we have three thousand here the total of total of sales account is five thousand six thousand right all right six thousand and the total of cost of sales let's say I have a, just put a lower amount of five hundred and this is three hundred let me just take out the last one okay let's say we have only two cost of sales accounts and the total will be 800 bucks all right all right this plus 500 plus 300 now what will happen is that when I run the carry forward function at the year end uh, our financial year is 2009 right at the, uh, at, the, at the end of 2009 somewhere around December 25th or 27th during the last day of the what do you call that the last business day business day of the year I'll run this carry forward to next year function there's a function there's a function here let me just show it to you so that you can understand better you need to run let me close this alright financial accounting closing somewhere around here just bear with me I'm locating it what you periodic processing closing yes this the one balance carry forward you need to run this function on the last business day of 2009 so that the figures can be carried forward to 2010 it is loading let me go back to here so what will happen here is that 6000 minus profit okay net profit gross profit gross profit is 5002 because 6000 minus yeah you know how I got 5000 to 6000 minus 6000 minus 800 okay so my gross profit is 5000 to this amount 
what I'm trying to say is once you run this function let me see whether it's loaded yeah it's loaded now see this function here is loaded now when you run once you run this function the system will calculate this amount by deducting the cost of sales from sales accounts and write this amount to the retained earnings account we have created just now this one okay on 1st of January 2010 if you check the balances of this account it will be 5002 provided you have run this carry forward function alright this is how the retained earnings account is linked to the PNL accounts uh, there's one more thing if you have more than one PN or you call a retained earnings account created here let's see you have Y Z and so forth many retained earnings account normally the companies will use only one retaining earnings account but in big companies they might want to differentiate the profit into different accounts so they may want to open many accounts here if they do that for all the PNL accounts, PNL account we haven't created a PNL account yet. But if we have created a PNL account, you will have a tick mark here, and then this will be either what do you call that sales or cost of sales or these two. Then you will, if you have more than one return earnings account set up here for all the PNL accounts you will see one extra field here something like this here for you to select which retained earnings account you want to link the PNL account to alright since we have only one retained earnings account created here the system will not prompt you further to uh, define which retained earnings account the PNL account should be linked to automatically if there's only one return earnings account automatically the system will link all the PNL accounts to this single return earnings account okay if you yeah. so um, don't expect to see what I'm trying to say here is don't expect to see a selection here for the return earnings account when you create only one return earnings account the system will not show you a selection the system will show you a selection for the return earnings account only in the event you have created more than one return in this account. Does that make sense? Okay, that's about it. No changes made. Yep. There's nothing to uh, save because we have already saved this. We go to next topic. Alright. We have created everything. We can go to the next topic.